Well up, YouTubers, Mr. Oliver here. Okay, we're making perfect porridge because we love it. I want to give you a recipe that's rock solid. I want to kind of arc back to the more traditional porridge that I think is more delicious than the rush jobs that we can get these days. Uh, and also I'm going to give you some ideas for ways to serve it so you don't get bored. We want a high-sided pot. We want to get it on a medium heat. Uh, I'm going to use a large builder's mug here. Uh, I'm going to use the coarse porridge oats. This is really, really nice. Instead of the kind of more commercialised ones that cook quicker, okay, I'm going for these because I think strongly that they taste better. And one builder's mug is absolutely perfect for four people. I'm going to follow that by three builder's mugs of water. So there's one, two, three. Get that onto a simmer. You want a nice pinch of sea salt, very, very important. This is the kind of classic Scottish way to do it. Water, three parts to one part, beautiful, lovely, organic, rolled porridge oats. Also, I'm using the back end of a wooden spoon, but they would have it almost slightly more ornate, like a drumstick, uh, and the kind of embellishments at the end, they'd hold like that, and they would just stir it like this all the time. A little bit thicker than this, and that was called spurtle. Okay, right, and I brought that to the boil now. Just have a look at that. Once we've got that, let's turn it right down. I don't want to rush it, okay? And I want to cook that for 10, 15 minutes so it goes from being grains of rolled oats to this beautiful, homogenous, gorgeous, thick, uh, non-lumpy porridge. A lot of people cook porridge with milk. Milk or cream scolds and burns really easily. And also, if it boils over and goes on your cooking range, it's really hard to clean and it stinks the house out. So look, it's only been cooking for five minutes um, at this stage, but it's already gone from being completely flaky and water to already being gloopy, and those flakes are starting to break down. Let's have a little look here. The reason that parents have loved this for years, it's nutritionally great for you, it burns slowly. If you want to share this on your social media, please do. And if you haven't subscribed to FoodTube, press that button. Yes, I said press that button. It's had about 13 minutes. Nothing stuck to the bottom. If we wanted to add butter, which I don't, but some of the old recipes do have, you can. If you want to add milk, uh, you can put a little splash in now and just loosen it. In my view, it should be thick, but still oozy, so don't overload it at this point. Uh, feel free just to add a little honey or a little sugar, um, just to kind of take that edge of savouriness off. Tablespoon there. So that's very, very nice. That's our basic porridge. So let's just portion this out. Look nice and thick. I want to show you how I would mix up this flavour. What happens in the Oliver household is we either have the brown sugar, and if you put the brown sugar and leave it for a minute, it almost goes like a little kind of caramel. So I leave it for a minute. And this one here, which is a traditional one, is golden syrup. You can get it in quite a few countries around the world. Very, very British. Okay. Then we've got really nice poppy seeds, like that. Desiccated coconut. Very nice. Uh, a little pinch of cinnamon, not too much. And a banana. Just mash up. Really, really nice. So mix that up in there, and we can just finish that off with a few bananas and a little honey. Very, very nice. One of the things that my wife does, she'll do a little one minute stewed fruit. She'll just throw a handful into a bowl. Just add a little bit of sugar. If the fruit's really good and in season, you won't really need it. Uh, if it's a little bit uh, more sour, add a little sugar and just mush up and squash it, and the natural juices will come out of this, and they'll be gorgeous and look amazing. And this, with any fruit, is gorgeous. Make a little well in the middle, pop the whole fruit in there, and look at that beautiful juice that's come out there. We've got one more to go. Uh, hot chocolate. It's not actually much chocolate by weight. It's about mixing it up into our bowl. Chocolate porridge with a little spoonful of lovely sweet and bitter marmalade. That, my friends, is amazing. If you look at the classic for a minute, my granddad used to put a little gully in here like this, and he just pour it in milk, so it went all the way down like that. And then, at that point, then he'd tuck into it. Guys, that is the tip of the iceberg, okay? Uh, happy porridge cooking, and you might be thinking, that's rubbish, my one's better, everyone should know about it, and we want to know about it. So guys, enjoy, lots of love, until next time, shaman. <laughs>